So I'm currently in the drain that Dad has dug. We're making a drain because there's no drain here. It goes up to the roadside. We're going to be digging through there to get to the dike. It's soaking in there. But I know there's a water pipe, so we're going to need to be careful there. Mag. Maggie, no, stay away from the road, come on. So, I've just been, I've just been digging the new, I've just been digging the new, uh, just taking all the wee nicks out to make sure the water runs properly. It is running, but it's just to, it is running, but it's just to make it better. So I'm going to try and climb out this hole now. Yeah, because I'm just I've just came to the end of the run here, and I've pretty much sorted it out. Um, Dad's down the bottom there, oh. and he's filling in the hole. So I'll walk down this side, and I'll start putting the pipe in back in. The, I'll start putting the pipe back in the hole here. Maggie, come on. She attempted to jump over the hole earlier and start filling it in, which wasn't ideal. <laughs> yeah, but aye, this whole corner side's wet and uh, right the way down. So after digging all this, then the bottom started filling up. So Dad's went through to the bog and he's dug, just the now he's dug through to make sure that the water gets away. So I'll start piling this in and then that means there's a couple of drains down here that I can connect into it, uh, pipe in once we unchoke them and uh, you can just see over there there's uh, a couple of rashes so you can see where the good side of the grass was and you could never really get down the bottom unless it was really dry which is no use because you want your whole field so aye. It was away, away, way round, over yonder, and we're going to need to put in a couple of branches or tea junctions or whatever you want to call them into this to try and dry this bit out. But this is the main bit done, so we'll just need to add in these other bits. Stay away from the hole. Dad's digging a hole with the train. Dad's digging a hole with the tracks here. Dig is wet! Just on here like a council worker or a spade because I'm waiting to go in and prod around looking for the water pipe. I seen somebody in the last video saying something about not seeing any of the stones when I was uh, sowing. Um, well, Dad has been out this morning lifting rocks, and these aren't the biggest ones. So that's just in this wee. I wouldn't even say it's four acres field here, you know. Plenty of rocks. <laughs> Some of them you really struggle to lift, and you need the forklift. Or I've been tracking about in the wee digger just in case you don't want to hurt your silly. Eh? Aye, so I'll get to lifting stones at some point. I was busy feeding this morning, the way cell stopped working in the wagon and had deliveries, and oh, for good sake, just hold up. <laughs> So, at least something was getting done. So we're back up here again today at the strain. Maggie's over watching what I'm doing here, make sure I'm doing everything right. Dad has fell asleep in the digger. But, it's better going to sleep for 10 minutes than eh, causing an accident. 
So basically what I'm doing now is I'm filling in the hole with clay from the sides or up here if I can't get it. Um, and then that means that when all this gets shoved back in, it doesn't wreck the pipe because there's something supporting the pipe already and there's something already on top of it. Uh, you can gub a pipe straight away by not doing this. Uh, the right way to do it is actually getting gravel, but we don't have that with us at the moment. So this is what we're doing. So fill it in with this clay. As you can see, he's got two different sides here. So all the clay from the bottoms went to the left here and all the topsoil that he skimmed off went to the right. And when you look in the hole, you can really see it. So here's your clay base and here's your topsoil right up. So this is the good stuff that makes stuff grow. So you want to keep this. Maggie keeps shoving it in. Stop that. Yeah, what are you doing? You're not coming in with me. So this is what I'm doing at the moment with my shovel. I broke yesterday's shovel. It's in the pickup. Uh, just snap straight there, the wooden handle. Found this, so I keep me going for a wee while yet. Uh. Look at all these bloody holes. Sort that out, it'll drain through here under the fence and away it'll go. But in a hell of a digging. It's went a bit nuts, sweet us. Stop eating grass. Hey! Right. Better keep filling this in. What to do? <laughs> so what I'm doing at the moment is I am using the fort lift here to fill the hole in. Um, just getting the bucket nice and level, driving into it, and just shoving it to the hole. And uh, aye, that's working away just fine. Dad's at the other end of the field. You can just see him there. Focusing on the window, unfortunately. He's at the other end of the field digging another another uh, drain into the main drain we're putting in. Uh, ah, it's a very wet corner down there. And we could never really get in this gate either. The gate was terrible. You'd drive in and nearly cope everything, or you would drive in. You'd get through it and up into the field fine. But the tanker or trailers, they'd get stuck in the hole because it was that wet and then the tractor would start turning before it got in. Uh, it was no use. It was really needing sorted. And uh, even if you threw bottom, through bottoming in, it just disappeared because of how wet that bit actually was. So uh, I suppose if you kept throwing it in, it would eventually have came to rock, I suppose. But... Uh, it was taking a lot, so we, re we really want to sort the drain, but when we dug down, there was no drain, so we've put one in now, so. Hey! This is what I'm doing right now. <laughs> busy, busy. Then I can plough this. Finally get that finished. <laughs> Dad's a way to get joiners, so I've got all the pipes in these drains. They all go down to the main drain we put in down the bottom and we've been shoveling the sides and the bank in to cover the pipe. Uh, we've got this end blocked on all of these so I'm not fill up by anything that's not meant to go in them. Um, so they're all blocked off and the sides are on top of it like that so that when I shove this in it doesn't flatten the pipe. So a couple of short runs here and then they just get longer and longer. And, aye. It is roasting the day. I'm struggling. <laughs> Not a day to be on the shovel. 
this morning we were lifting stains as well. So, no doubt, I'm going to be burnt by the end of the day. <laughs> so, aye, just nothing left to do here but shove all this in with the forklift because it is far quicker than the digger. But I've got the ditching bucket there for the awkward bits to pull it in. But then after that, the next thing that needs to be done is start ploughing again. Finish this off and that'll be so and done for the year. Well, till winter barley, of course. <laughs> so I'm currently filling in these holes. Um, so that's basically the last of the draining saga. <laughs> uh, I'll be back to ploughing the mower, I think. Get all this ploughed, try not fall in the holes. Squash the pipes that we've just sorted. This is what I'm doing, well I've sorted that out earlier with the Manitou but I uh, needed to get the digger because you can't drive across the holes with the Manitou unfortunately so just using the digger driving down, using the ditching bucket, dragging the topsoil in on this side and then swinging round to the other side and dragging the clay soil in. So this is what I'm doing, it seems to be the most efficient way of doing it, quite speedy. about that so if you enjoyed today's video please remember to subscribe to my channel and uh, please do not forget to come along next time cheers guys see you soon <laughs>